Nairobi, Kenya, also known as the Green City Under the Sun, is among the most visited cities in Africa. The city has several amazing destinations that will make you have a lifetime experience. These are the top 11 exciting things to do in Nairobi. Number 11. Visit Nairobi Museum and City Monuments. Located a few minutes from the city center, Nairobi National Museum is one of the best places to visit in Nairobi. It's a flagship of the National Museums of Kenya and houses collections of artworks, culture, and history of Kenya. Also Nairobi wouldn't be a leading tourist destination in Kenya without its monuments. Dedan Kamathi statue, Tom Boya statue, War Memorial Pillars, Kapanda House, Macmillan Library, and many more, all of these national monuments recount the colonial history of Kenya. It's an adventure back in time to when Nairobi was just but a swamp. Past, present, and future representations of the city intermingle. New streets pop up, and old buildings are replaced, but some monuments still stand tall. There are historical monuments, majestic architecture, and statues to gaze at on almost every corner. Taking a stroll through any part of Nairobi is a journey of discovery, one that I enjoy very much every time I hit its bustling city streets. Number 10. Chase the Githiga Caves and Waterfalls. If you're looking for waterfalls near the city, the Githiga Waterfalls should be at the top of your list. Karuru Falls, in the Aberdares, and Regia Falls are the most spectacular. But the wonderful thing about visiting the Githiga Waterfalls is that the journey takes you through idyllic highlands and tea farms. And at the end, you'll see caves where Kenyan freedom fighters hid during the struggle for independence. Number 9. Go hiking at the Ngong Hills. Situated some kilometers from Ngong Town, the Ngong Hills are one of the best places to visit near Nairobi. The hills offer an amazing day hike outside the city with incredible views of the Great Rift Valley. For as long as I've lived in Nairobi, I've always considered Ngong Hills a great destination. The seven hills from the Ngong Forest Gate to Kona Baridi will test your fitness level and reward you with the most memorable experience. There aren't any wild animals in Ngong Hills, making it a great place for solo travelers and groups. The forest is open daily from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the rates are affordable. The best way to experience the Ngong Hills is to join a hiking trip. The climb takes about 5 hours from gate to gate, through open fields and natural forest trails. To top it off you can try ziplining over the forest canopy. Number 8. Experience the Nairobi Nightlife. Try out local food like Nyirma Choma and Kachambari, drink Tusker beer, an East African pale lager, and create some moments to remember by joining this amazing Nairobi nightlife experience. Without experiencing the nightlife, a trip to any city or town is usually incomplete. In my younger years, I spent a lot of time enjoying late nights out in Nairobi and I can say from experience that the nightlife is truly excellent. You can indulge in nighttime activities like partying, board gaming, karaoke, dancing, watching plays, or listening to live bands. Exploring Nairobi at night is great, and it's a fun and exciting way to experience the local culture. Number 7. Visit the Gikamba Market. Situated on the outskirts of the city, Gikamba is one of the biggest markets in Kenya. Vendors in the market sell clothes, accessories, and other items. Because of its size and many stores, it's easy to get lost in the market, even for locals. I've probably gotten lost every time I've visited. Although somewhat daunting, this also makes it one of the most adventurous places to visit in Nairobi. I recommend that you go with someone who knows the market well to guide you through the stalls and to avoid heading off course. Number 6. Go shopping at a Maasai market. I love the Maasai market and still visit on a regular basis when I'm in Nairobi. It's no surprise that it's one of the top Nairobi attractions. The Maasai market is an open-air market in Nairobi that's held in different locations throughout the week. Travelers visit the Maasai market to see and shop for gifts and keepsakes like paintings, beads, jewelry, fabrics, and wood carvings. The best days to visit are Saturdays and Sundays when the market is located in Nairobi city center, at the High Court parking lot. 
An alternative to the Maasai market is the city market which is open daily. If you're keen to test your bargaining skills, join this Maasai market and skyline experience in Nairobi. Number 5. Experience nature at the Karura Forest. If you're into nature and outdoor activities, you have a good enough reason to visit Nairobi, in particular, the Karura Forest. Besides engaging in activities such as jogging and cycling, Karura Forest is a wonderful place for bird watching, walking, and relaxing. The forest is open daily from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., gates close at 7 p.m. For first-timers, it's best to visit and experience Karura Forest with someone who knows the trails well. They'll be able to expertly guide you through the tracks, which is especially helpful when running or biking. Number 4. Experience Kenyan Culture at the Bomas of Kenya The Bomas of Kenya is a tourist attraction that displays different aspects of Kenyan culture and heritage. It's another great option for a day trip from Nairobi due to its proximity to the capital. If you're curious about Kenyan communities and their heritage, then the Bomas of Kenya is a must-see. Even as a local, I still find this kind of cultural tour fascinating as a glimpse into another way of life. On the tour, you'll experience Kenyan diversity through traditional dances, food, and vernacular architecture. Number 3. Visit the Giraffe Center. An initiative of the African Fund for Endangered Wildlife, a few, the Giraffe Center is a conservation, education, and breeding center for the endangered Rothschild's giraffe. It's open daily between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., including weekends and public holidays. Aside from the information center, there's also an elevated platform that allows you to hand-feed the giraffes. The center is one of the most popular day-trip destinations in Nairobi. It's also part of the Nairobi Wildlife Experiences which include a game drive at Nairobi National Park, a visit to the Elephant Sanctuary, and the Karen Blixen Museum. Number 2. Visit the Nairobi Elephant Sanctuary. Also known as the Nairobi Nursery, the David Sheldrick Elephant Orphanage is a great attraction close to the city. It's a sanctuary where orphaned elephants are taken care of before being reintroduced into the wild. Visiting the Elephant Sanctuary is one of my favorite things to do on a day trip from Nairobi. The sanctuary is situated about 25 minutes by taxi from the city center. There's an entrance fee of $15. The best way to experience the Elephant Sanctuary is by joining an organized tour. You not only visit the nursery but also the nearby Giraffe Center too. Number 1. Explore the Nairobi National Park. Nairobi National Park is situated a few kilometers from the city center. Aside from being one of the best places to visit in Nairobi, the park is a good starting point for game reserve and safari trips in Kenya. It's accessible both by private and public means from the capital. However, the best way to experience this magical park is by taking a guided game drive. During the five-hour early morning game drive of the Nairobi National Park, you'll have the chance to spot wildlife like lions, black rhinos, cheetahs, buffaloes, giraffes, and hippos, as well as many bird species. Some people prefer doing the game drive only, but visiting the safari walk inside the park is also both educating and refreshing. The safari walk is home to rhinos, hyenas, and other wild animals. It ranks high up as one of the best places to visit in Nairobi for couples. If you found this video informative, like, share and subscribe, see you next time.